Hi, welcome to the channel again. We're gonna unbox the Shinobi. So as you can see, it's a really nice uh, packaging as uh, Atomos always has. Inside the box comes with uh, the monitor itself. Wow. It's a 5.2 inch display, right? Yeah. Looks like it. This is super light. Wanna... Yes. It's very light. It's very light compared to the Ninja 5. I think due to the fact that it's only for monitoring and it doesn't have external, mo uh, external recording features. Yeah, I mean, if you guys can hear this, it's like, it's sort of this like polyester made um, feel to it. But yeah. Yeah, I think the Ninja 5 is majority um, metal It's sort casing. of like a mixture of like plastic and metal combined. Uh, Definitely heavier um, than this. This is very lightweight. Of course, it has uh, the power adapter um, with a bunch of uh, adapters for all types of countries and um, I think that's it. That's the only thing we have in there. And I mean, of course, um, manual. Then again, it's 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 a four hundred dollar um, mid level uh, monitoring um, monitor. Atomos, um, they always tell you to download the latest uh, firmware, so you guys should do that. Oh, I mean, uh, the build looks nice. Um, the, the insert for the MP Sony battery is actually in the middle versus the, the left side. And as you can see, there's um, there's no uh, SSD insert. And also the button is directly on the back of the monitor versus to the right of it. Uh, and and it also has an SD insert to, for you to put LUTs, input LUTs. So that being that 400, it's $400 monitor, um, it actually has the same specs as Ninja B. It's a 19, 20 by 1080 uh, monitor. It supports log um, formats, uh, and also it has the, uh, the anamorphic de squeeze uh, um, function. Uh, yeah. It also has a 10.5 stops dynamic. So yeah, monitoring um, your your log profiles is actually really accurate. So uh, with this monitor too, so as it can go up to 10.5, which is just enough. Cool. To that's awesome. Um, I know this is uh, cheaper than the Ninja V. Um, what what are the difference between this and the nin and the Ninja V, or even, for example, the small HD focus uh, that you used in the past? Right off the bat, it's it's very light when you you touch it. It's just uh, like featherweight. The difference, uh, of course, the Ninja V has the uh, SSD slot. Uh, this one doesn't. Um, it's definitely just monitoring only. And compared to the uh, small HD, I think it's just a, a next level up in terms of like um, monitoring your levels, um, color accuracy. It's definitely brighter, uh, a thousand nits. So it's yeah. powered on? Uh, yeah. It's a snap on uh, battery and it holds it in place. There's also a quick release for it. Turning it on, just one click. Yeah, so same um, interface as the Ninja V, uh, very simple to use. Um, looks really nice. I think it's it's brighter than, than a small HD focus, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's definitely brighter. Um, like I said, it's a thousand nits. I'm not sure about the, the small HD, but from looking at from here, it is definitely brighter. Um, it's the same spec as the Ninja V. Cool, yeah. Um, what what I like what I like about it is uh, what I use a lot is the focus peaking, also the the LUTs that you're able to input. Um, they have a variety of colors for the focus peaking, from red to yellow to green to blue, mm -hmm. um, and you can kind of basically uh, pick how intense the the peaking is, from a, from a low to a medium to a to a high. It's actually uh, try it on a camera. Here we go. We have a fully rigged uh, XT3, and and I'd say the battery should last longer because it doesn't have to externally record compared to the Ninja Five or yeah. the Ninja V. Focus speaking is on. Um, the touch res uh, touch responses was nice, um, as you see. Focus speaking, great tool. 
We have the waveforms. The zebras, of course. And especially your LUTs are here, which is you put it on an SD card and you load them up. Yeah, everything seems very nice. The screen is very clear, full HD, of course. And don't get us wrong, we actually really, we've used the small HD focus for a while. I think a little bit over two to three years. Um, and I would say this monitor is, it can perform just as well, or the small HD can perform just as well as this monitor, but this is just that, that new, 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 new kit on a black monitor. I, I guess it's the competitor to the Focus, I would say. I think it's just the price point. Um, the fact that it's like $400 for this compared to when the Smart HD came out was uh, $500. And then you have to get a kit, which is like another, you know, another 100, 100 bucks. And this is pretty much, you just need the NP block, um, which is something you probably already have. And it, it works. We advise to get the Atomos uh, cable, which is priced at what, like, it's like 50 bucks right now. 50 to 60 dollars. Um, yeah. I think it's a lower than your the initial price that you purchased it for. Mm. How much was the initial price for uh, Atomos cord? It was 150 bucks. Like, so they actually... Um, it dropped a lot. They thought of the customers and realized it's very expensive for a cord, so they decided to lower the price. Mm -hmm. About $100 lower. Yeah, a lot of people were complaining. So now you can pick it up for 50 bucks. It's a certified premium um, 4k 60 uh, signal so be sure to pick that up don't just spend less on HDMI cords and again this is just for monitoring if you're looking for external recording purposes I'd advise you get the the Ninja 5 or Ninja V or whatever you guys want to call it um, it's definitely our workhorse um, and we just switched over from the small HD focus to the Shinobi as a, uh, as a backup monitor. I'd recommend this monitor for any beginner that has a small budget. Um, it's, be it's definitely best bang for the buck. I feel like it's a, it's a kind of a mid-level professional grade monitor that won't like cut into your pocket. Um, what, what else, who else would you recommend this for? It's just someone that, yeah, definitely upgrading from a, um, you know, some, like your first monitor that you bought for like a hundred bucks and you need something that's more professional level and also, yeah, it's, it's just a good upgrade. I personally didn't use a monitor uh, when I first started until I met Alex um, and we decided to, to, to basically go half and invest in a small HD focus. Um, and obviously we upgraded uh, since then um, and we just wish we had the accessibility to the Shinobi um, but it recently released we definitely recommend anyone that needs a monitor period to uh, to try this out and also they have a return policy so if you don't like it you can always return it. Yeah. it's also great because it's so lightweight it's actually for vloggers um, people that would want to and this in a, a monitor for the, uh, you know for their vlogging style kind of videos this is definitely uh, best bang for your buck you know um, and it's I almost put a lot of thought to it to future proof their monitor so yeah this thing will um, it's a future proof monitor yeah. and you can find uh, mounting accessories on Amazon for very cheap around 35 to 40 bucks um, depending on how, how you're going to um, mount it whether it's a, a small rig cage or just a cold shoe mount there's uh, definitely a lot of accessories for these monitors uh, online. Hey guys, thank you guys for watching again today. If you guys like what you guys saw today, please comment and subscribe below. Uh, and let us know what are your thoughts on uh, the two monitors here. Uh, the Atomos Shinobi and the Atomos Ninja 5, Ninja V or whatever you want to call it. Um, and let us know what other monitors out there that you guys like and would recommend. Please comment below. If you guys are curious on what equipment we use for this video, we'll also link that too down below and also link these monitors too. And shout out to Atomos. Thank you for making amazing monitors. We love you guys. Um, and until next time.